Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I am still your host, Drycon. Now, it has been a while since I've played this before, and the reason for that is when I was trying to record another few episodes of this, the game kept crashing. And what I didn't realize until after the fact was the constant crashing screwed up all my video. So I've got some video with... Uh, with uh, just the audio but no video and other video where I have all the v video but there's absolutely no audio recorded and it's just a horrific mess so I did do some things there but I didn't actually beat the Rat King so what did I do? Um, I beat the White Minotaur which wasn't all that interesting just because the Minotaurs are very boring enemies because they only have two attacks. So it, uh, fighting them just becomes a pattern of letting them finish their damage. You go and hit them twice and you just run away. So it's not all that interesting. I mean, the white Minotaur himself, a little interesting because you could get, because he had ice attacks. But all that was was a, a beam of ice that shot on the ground so he could hit you at a distance. So if you just run in a circle, he misses you. Uh, the other reason that the game kept crashing was during one of the Goblin King Hall's quests. Where... I don't remember why you had to go through the dungeon, but you're going through another one of those little mini mazes. And for some reason, that's where the game loved to crash. And I think there was one other thing that I can't remember right now. But anyway, let's hope that I don't crash this time. Back so soon. I knew you would not falter. Okay. So yeah, still haven't beaten the King of Plague. He still waits for you, vile and resourceful. Du, du, du. Nah, I'm good with my weapons right now. Yeah, so I'm done the white minotaur. Um, take this, take druids. the eagle do? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll get rid of it, because there's a chance to get hurt. Take that. I like the loan. Okay, stay with this. is unveiled, as each new concept is explored, that we learn something about ourselves, or something about you, at least. Is this where I take the hundred gold? Yeah. The black deck delivers again. In this case, to be fair, you are intruding into their home. Yeah, all right. I'm feeling brave. Shame to see a piece that has been vanquished yet refuses to leave the board. Oh no, that's right, the lick. I remember fighting the lick. I don't like fighting the lick. Oh, it's a small battlefield. I just got destroyed. That was 
pathetic. That was sad. Another of my servants fulfills his. How about you shut up? Oh, that was embarrassing. How bare my cabinet now looks. I have saved much for this moment. All right, jump back into it. Cause I was what thirty seconds. Are you a religious person? Now is the time for prayers. The King of Plague will kill you and lick the fat from your bones. I say that I created this game. Many of the things I've told you are true, but not that. I do not know who created it. I merely perfected it. Uh, just a jack? Oh yeah, he comes with flu flunkies. Not a problem. Always love food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. A choice. Select your desire. Yeah, the golems are like the, uh, like the minotaur, actually. That was the wrong button. I'm gonna die again. Will you make the same choices as you did before? More than anything, I am proud of my array of curses. Have any gold? The wealthy you are, the more deadly. I like this. For a price. A voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. Games aren't designed, not in the way you think. They grow as we work on them. They evolve around the players who flow through. The things they love and hate become part of our firmament. So who is the true creator? Well, that's deep. They finally got some new things to say. Win this and claim my token. Eh, <sighs> alright, I'm feeling brave.
I'm afraid that is where this round ends. Some other time, perhaps. I I am just not having any luck. You are better than I thought. All right, right. One more go. He still waits for you. Vile and resourceful. Death. We use the word so often. You run out of food and you die. You lose your health and you die. Yet, you're still here. We do not speak of the true death. The final oblivion. Only the death of the game. Where your peace begins again and moves across the table. This game, like all games, touches on that true death. However, for a life must be lost, and lost for all time. Alright, finally something new. You are approached by a group of mysterious robed people. One of the robed figures addresses you. You look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? We are druids wishing to perform certain rituals over the coming weeks. These activities must take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures or bandits. We will pay gold to one who protects us during the ceremonies. The first ceremony will be at the Sacred Stones at exactly midday on the summer solstice. We shall see you there, I have foreseen it. I like those ones where I don't have to do anything. Fifty gold. He's not your duke, remember. He can only ask, not order. Ugh, another jack. I don't like hunting the rabbit. I still don't have any gold. for you, and a token if you succeed. Do you believe the wheel turns again and returns us to the world in order to experience afresh all that has happened? I do. Yet I cling still to this semblance of life, and will not go willingly through the door. We play for a uh, token. Not this. No, I don't want to. It takes a very special person to walk through this door. You need to have lived a life that provides enough meat for our deck. Yet, you also need to have enough will to walk through the door. Enough power left to... Ah, I didn't hear that. Oh no, I think this is why it kept crashing. Yep, there it goes. And we're back. Thankfully this game likes to save a lot, so 
I need to take this one out of my deck, because it loves to crash my game. Alone, did things all- nah, I'll just continue on. I have made my wager. I'll also make my deal. You have questions, and I will provide answers. After all, that is why you came here, is it or not? Again, a token is at stake. You come across a broken down wagon laden with food, its owner nowhere in sight. I'll offer help. Oh, thank God you're here. Merchant leaped out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart, and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. See, a hands over some food, the merchant explains that he was on his way to a distant trading post and that, as a result of his troubles, the food delivery will be delayed. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I like those easy ones. As you plunder the secrets of your <sighs> you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Choose from these options. Ah, darn. Just one monster. I can handle one. That was easy enough. Didn't get the token though. Ah, uh, yeah, this thing. Pick the only failure. That was not fair. Oh yeah, I got the money curse. Blessing. Whatever. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. Yeah, why not? I'm probably gonna die soon anyways. I just noticed the food there. It would be beneficial to deal with that crossbow as a priority, don't you think? Oh no, I'm I'm keeping this gold.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh. I shouldn't be alive. Oh. I want this food, and I want to farm up some health. Okay, let's see what this cursed treasure is all about. You do seem oddly fixated with tales of treasure and pillage. Does How about you don't it? criticize? In the courtyard of a remote, rundown temple, you find a pile of treasure. You're welcome to the treasure, says a wise and old monk, but know that it is cursed. Does your fingers touch the f five curses? Ah, that is one of my favorites. I worked long and hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious, don't you think? I'm sure your opponents will try their luck. Let's see how that pans out. Are you sure that's the right approach? Oh, I done bad. I made a wrong choice. I made a wrong choice. What hit me? <sighs> My luck is so run out. The cold embrace of death and the first stuttering steps of new life. So soon. Oh. Yeah, this this game has gotten so much harder. And that's where I'm gonna call it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.